What's going on guys and welcome along to my YouTube channel and episode 15 of Brad's vlog. Brad's vlog now today guys is a video that I'm going to do which I really don't want to do but I'm going to have to do it anyway because oh dear oh dear oh dear where to bloody begin. Where to begin. 2018, the start of 2018. Oh my fucking god. And I'm talking about my beloved club here. Arsenal FC. <clears throat> Yesterday, losing 2-1 to Brighton. 2-1 to Brighton and Hove Albion. A team that have just recently got promoted to the Premier League. Not even in mid-table. Well, in mid-table stream team. A mid-table stream team. And we get bullied. In that first 25 minutes, we got absolutely bullied. I mean, I've never seen a performance like it in all my life. But when Aubameyang scored, everyone thought, Oh, great, he scored, yeah! Doesn't justify the performance. The performance was pure and utter shit. Like it has been for the past, I don't know, five, six games. We played Ostersons, lost 2-1 at the Emirates, but yet we still got through, yeah. We got through, but we lost 2-1 to a team that have got no hopers. This is what this club's come to. Losing games against teams where you least expect to lose. I mean, I don't know what has happened to this club lately, but oh my god. I think he's lost the plot. Wenger has lost the plot. I mean, there's probably fans out there now probably thinking, oh well... He's going to get fucking Europa League with the Cabo Cup. Do I really want that? No. Do any of the fans want it? No. We as fans want results. We want trophies. We want it all. But no, under Wenger, we cannot justify that kind of result. Lately, we're going to these clubs, these mid-table stream clubs and relegation threatened clubs and bottle jobbing it. Absolutely bottle jobbing it. I mean, don't get me wrong, we... Really, I don't know what to say anymore. I really don't. I cannot justify how shit we have been this season. We're sixth in the table, like 30-odd points behind Man City. I mean... Oh, and we're behind Spurs... A team that has been in our shadow for long enough. Yeah, they may be finishing above us, but they're not winning anything though, are they? That's the one blip in Spurs' category. When they finish above us, that's like winning a trophy to them. Because they never seem to do it, but now that they've got Harry Kane banging in the goals, yeah, they're finishing above us. What have we got? Mr. Wenger, you seriously need to go at the end of the season. At the end of the season, you need to pack your bags and fuck off. Literally. I can't justify it. I just cannot justify how crap we have been this season. It's been an absolute joke. I mean, the start of 2018, we haven't won a game in like five. Above five, actually. But yet... I just don't know what we're going to do against AC Milan on Thursday, but I think we'll get absolutely battered. His tactics are poor. There's no leadership on the pitch. There's no creativity. There's just nothing anymore. I mean, Ozil signed a new contract, 350 grand a week. It justified not. You haven't justified that. That you are worth. That you are willing to have a wage increase to that much. You need to stand up and be accounted for Ozil. You need to start playing the game like you always had for Real Madrid. Bring that to Arsenal and maybe we can get back into this. We're not going to get top four this season, I can guarantee you that. Top four, gone. But the thing is... The one thing that really does disappoint me is the fact that our owner... Silent Stan Karonke is out there in America right now doing jack nothing about this. He doesn't even care about the club. 
He doesn't give a shit about the club. Because he is catalyst for change. Catalyst for jack nothing. And then you've got Wenger turning around yesterday going, I can still turn it around. Turn it around. How the hell can you turn it around? This is why I don't understand. This is why I don't understand. How the hell can you turn this around? Sick place. I mean, ugh. I just don't know what to say anymore. I just really don't. It's just an absolute joke. It's an absolute mess at the moment. I mean, the team yesterday, Petr Cech, oh my Jesus. The Glen Murray header, he should have had in his hand. But nope, he let it slide under his body. 2-0 down. Oh my God. Playing Chambers at right back against this Gidero. Jesus Christ, that's like Andy, they're playing with death centres. It's like sign your own death warrant. He should have had Hector Bellerin in from the start, but obviously Bellerin's been out of touch lately, so there you go. And Chambers a chance and get absolutely mugged off by a Colombian international who's been on fire recently. Why would you even think to do that? Mustafi, what the hell? His defending yesterday was absolutely atrocious. Koscielny, eh, well, same situation. Kolasinac, oh my god. He has been, I don't know what's happened to him recently, but he has been absolutely poor. He has been beyond the word. Xhaka in midfield, oh Jesus Christ. We need Ramsey and Wilshire alongside each other. Xhaka needs to be dropped. Xhaka needs to be dropped. Wilshire, the only man out there I fought with fire in his eyes. He showed the fight and desire that we need at this club. He is the reason that Arsenal are fighting. Well, trying to fight, I should say. He's the one that ticks this club. Mikatarin again, another, well, you can't really blame him. He's just recently signed. Same with Aubameyang as well. Good goal from Aubameyang, though, nonetheless. Ozil, absolutely poor. No desire whatsoever to win. He didn't look like the man I thought he is. And, it, and then he will be. Jesus Christ. He is just, no, no, no. Really, what Wenger needs to do is, when Lacazette gets back, play him alongside Aubameyang. But nope, he won't play with two strikers like he used to do. No, 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 no. He'll play one. And that'll be Aubameyang every week. And then Lacazette. Bye-bye. <whistles> See you later. Au revoir. But I'm hoping at the end of the season we do get rid of Wenger. And hopefully, <clears throat> the one manager who I would love to see at Arsenal, Carlo Ancelotti. I would love to see him at Arsenal. He is a tactical genius the man is a genius. <sighs> but again, like I said, guys, it's just an absolute outrage that the man who led Arsenal through the invincible years is turning this club into a shambles. An absolute shambles to lose to mid-table stream sides and relegation friend sides. It's just an absolute joke. Right now, I'm just absolutely pissed off. So, guys, I'm going to wrap it up right now. So, if you like the video... Go down below, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and give me some positive feedback guys. So guys, see you next time on Brad's Vlog.